Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you all. Last week, I brought you a video from the HMRC, and I've been told by various people that it was probably my best yet. I would just like to say a massive thank you for that, and for those that may have not seen it before, please check it out. I spoke to the same guy the following day, and this is today's video. He gives me three bank accounts, and we get their location on two separate ways. In this one, I use the element of manipulation to its fullest. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, generally, just enjoy your day. Thank you. Marcy, how can I help you? Um, well, I had a missed call. I'm just calling you back. Could you confirm me with your full name? Uh, yes, it's Miss Geraldine Fisher. Okay. Before we go ahead, I would like to notify you that the lines on which we are having this conversation is being recorded and monitored by HMRC headquarters as well as the local state authorities. So I would highly appreciate if you do not interrupt me in between, okay? It sounds quite formal. What, 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 what is this? Actually, uh, uh, this call is from HM Revenue and Customs. Right. Okay, and the reason behind this call is that we have done a random audit on your tax filing over the last few years, and we found out that there were several miscalculations in your tax filing under the section of 150 of IT Act, Income Tax Act. Uh, you have underpaid your taxes because of HMRC is filing a case under your name. So do you have any criminal lawyer who can represent you inside the court for this? Okay, so are you telling me that are you not aware about this case? I've got no idea. Right now, the outstanding amount under your name is £2,567. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, let's... Sorry, I'm just taken back. This is devastating. What do I need to do? What can I do to stop this? I don't know anything about it. So if the government is giving you a chance to clear up your taxes, which is £2,567, would you be able to clear the taxes right now? Um, I'll speak to my husband, so bear with me, bear with me. Bob! You're not allowed to... Bob! You're not allowed you to discuss that? this matter to your anyone right now. Do you hear that? Sorry, sorry say again. You are not allowed to disclose this matter to any third person right now, otherwise the arrest warrant will automatically get released. Oh, well, my husband. And you will be inside the custody. What about my husband? That's why. No. Why? I'm going to explain that to you. But right now you oh, should not disclose off. this matter to any Go back upstairs. Just go back upstairs, please. It doesn't matter. Right, him. He's gone back upstairs. Um, right. So... Why you are not allowed to disclose this matter to any third person, let me tell you this, okay? Because right now we haven't informed this to your local police department, not to your local HMRC office, neither to your local media or newspapers. So, because why? Because everyone has a good reputation and we don't want to spoil their reputation without knowing their intention that are they ready to cooperate with us or not. So make sure, if we also expect the same loyalty from you if you're going to disclose this matter to any third person then we are going to release up your arrest warrant you would be on all television newspapers news channels oh gosh, no. on media everywhere i can't do that no because you are defrauding the government because you are defrauding the government that's why i'm a bit of a local you know celebrity that. around here that would devastate things so i'm the world's largest carrot it would just tarnish what? my good name I can't, I can't be arrested for something like that. I can't be in the newspapers. It would just tarnish everything. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, that till the point of time, we are not cancelling up your arrest warrant. We need oh, to gosh. make sure that you are not allowed to disclose this matter to any third person. No, 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 no. I promise I won't do that. I promise you. I've, I've just sent Bob upstairs. Okay. So right now, if the government is giving you a chance to clear up your taxes, would you be able to do that right now? Um, yes. Uh, can I do an online transfer? Is that okay? Uh, I can do that straight right. away. That would be instantaneous. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? 
Uh, no, I don't drive. Okay, do you have any state ID? Uh, somewhere. I think I've got an expired passport. Okay so, what, okay, so what exactly you can do is you can just get the picture of your passport and what exactly you need to go ahead and you need to click a picture of your passport, expired passport, and you need to send that uh, to the accounting department so that they can provide you with the escrow account. After that, once you send the ID, I'm going to let you know what exactly you need to do, okay? Okay, let me ask Bob where the passport is. Bear with me. Okay, uh, Bob's just trying to find the passports now. He's asked why we need the passport. Um, he's just uh, upstairs so, uh, looking. What, what shall I say to him? Because right now, ma'am, uh, do you use WhatsApp? WhatsApp? Uh-huh. No, WhatsApp? Do you, like, do you use WhatsApp? Because you would be getting a message from accounting department on your WhatsApp. So do you use WhatsApp? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Okay, so how you're gonna say how uh, how you're gonna uh, what exactly you need to do is you need to click a picture of your passport and you need to send it on my email or anywhere else. Oh uh, yeah, I got my passport just there. Right. Who are you on the phone with? Oh, it doesn't matter, dear. Uh, just give me the passport. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Well, why are you on the phone with someone? You won't tell me who they are. And you want your passport? Just give, give, give me the passport there. Uh, yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Uh, this is Bob. Um, who, who am I speaking to? You're speaking with Justin Holiday. Hello, Mr. Holiday. Um, uh, how can we help? Uh, actually, uh, Ms. Fisher has underpaid her taxes, and that is the only reason we are reaching her right now. And there is an arrest warrant issued under her name. Right. Well, I'm her carer. I, I deal with uh, things. Mrs. Uh, Fisher's uh, mental state isn't a hundred percent. Oh come on, that's not a nice thing to say. Um, uh, sorry, dear. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm her full-time. Kara, I make all the decisions. Um, c can you explain to me exactly what's going on, please? Uh, I feel I, I should be the right person I, to be dealing with this. Actually, uh, let me tell you one thing. She has underpaid her taxes from last, from 2014 to 2020, and that is the only reason we are trying to reach her. Okay, this is the final notification call from our end. After that, she would be getting arrested because there is an uh, arrest warrant issued under her name. Wow. Um... Okay, uh, 2000, when did you say? 14 to? 2014 to 2020. Six years. What were you doing back then? She, she was underpaying your taxes. Uh, she was underpaying your taxes. Yeah, you, you were. You were working at Tesco's. Um, uh, so, she was working at Tesco's. Tesco does all the deals and they, they sort everything out, the financial side of thing. Um, how was she underpaid? Let me tell you, let me tell you one thing, okay? Like, right now we don't know, okay? We haven't told her that tell her employer to file her taxes. It's completely depend upon her, okay? She needs to file her taxes by herself because, let me tell you, that the no, unless you are a business, then you don't need to do your taxes by yourself. No, who told you that? Well, it's it's a standard thing, is that the company does it. If you work for a company, the company does your taxes. But if you're self-employed, so then you do your own taxes. Say, so let's say if they had underpaid her taxes, then she would be the one who would be liable for it, not the company. Right, but she doesn't do her own taxes. She doesn't that's need what to. I'm trying to tell. Sure, that's what I'm trying to tell you, sir. That let's say her company paid her, her taxes, mm -hmm. but right now uh, the company was underpaying her taxes and she's the liable one. Right, okay. Um, okay, well, as a designated carer, I think I should take over on this. Um, okay, so what, what needs to happen? What do we need to do? Okay, first of all, do you use WhatsApp? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, you don't use WhatsApp. 
so first of all, what exactly needs to do is right now she needs to click a picture of her driver's license and she needs to send she on doesn't drive. the WhatsApp of Okay, she has a passport, correct? Uh, we have a passport, yes. Okay, so you need to click a picture of her passport and you need to send on the accounting department's WhatsApp number. Once you're done with that, they will be giving up, up the ex escrow accounts where she can uh, pay her taxes off and she can cancel up her arrest warrant. Uh, just bear with me a second. Oh, come on, dear. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You're, just, you're right, you're right. So, <clears throat> so what, exactly, what exactly you want to do? I want okay. to clear her name. I believe that do you have, do, uh, does she have her online banking? Does she deal with any banks right now? Uh, yes, I do the online banking. Okay, which bank she is banking with? Uh, we do the TSB. CSB? Yes. TSB. And uh, what exactly you need to do is you just need to take a uh, screenshot of your account okay where it shows that uh, how much balance do you have and you can share that then after i can ask for the accounting i'm not telling you how and much money that... we've got well, why would the government hmrc need to know how much money i've got that no, makes absolutely just for the sense verification. that makes no okay. sense whatsoever okay no worries so let me uh, uh, please open up your online banking uh, just give me a second <laughs> it's all right, all right, it's fine. I'll, just, I'll look after you, dude. I'm gonna take a quick moment, so I'm gonna step out. That's, that's okay, dude. Um, just go and get some fresh air. You want to? You want to pop down to the garden? Yes, I'll go and feed sloth. Yes, go and feed sloth. That's that's wonderful. Sorry, my my wife's just gone to feed sloth. Um. Right, okay, so okay. online banking. Okay, so first of all, Google one thing www. Uh, bear with me, let me just get that. UK. Right, okay, yes, so I think I understand this, yes. So it's like a special account that I can send money to. Correct. So I would be providing you with the accounting details. Okay, where you need to do a transaction of two thousand five hundred and sixty-seven pounds, and once you do that, you don't. You need to take a screenshot and you need to send it to me so that I can submit that to the accounting department so that they can proceed further. That yes, she has cleared up her name into the accounting, and she okay. has cleared up all her taxes. Do you understand? I understand. Okay, so once you are at the banking page, just let me know so that I can provide you with the accounting details. So can you uh, do you know how to tran uh, how to transfer funds from your account to the escrow accounts? Because I have the escrow account details in front of my eyes. Um, is that just like a new transfer to somebody? Correct. Uh, yes, I, I do know how to do that. Okay, so uh, what information is it asking for? It's asking for a name. Okay, so name is K for Kilo. Okay, so the account number is 19. Okay, short code is 23. Perfect. Now read all the details, each and every details back to me. Okay, so the first name is Carolina. Asking for a reference. What am I putting for a reference? You can just write down anything. Okay, you can just write down anything except do not write that you are paying to anything like because right now we are not allowed to disclose this to, thing to your bank people as well. Okay, so you can just write down personal use as reference. HMRC personal use. No, don't write HMRC personal use. Just write down personal use. Okay, this is weird. It's come back. It's got like a red explanation mark. And it says transaction failed with suspected fraud on the receiving account. It, it is showing suspected fraud on receiving account? On the receiving account, yes. 
Okay, can you take the screenshot uh, of that uh, and send it on the email so that I can forward that to the accounting de department? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, sir. I got an update from the accounting department. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you need to go on your home screen again of the bank. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm on. I'm on the home screen. Okay, and they told me that you can't do all the, uh, you can't pay all your taxes at one shot. Okay, you need to do a multiple payments. So first of all, uh, we are gonna try and do one thousand two hundred and eighty-three pound at first. And then after we would be doing a second transaction to different escrow account. Do you understand? Uh, okay. Yes, we can do that. Okay. So uh, when you are ready, let me know so that I can provide you accounting details again. Okay. So I'll go to a new payments. And it's sorted. Thank you for the drink. That's okay. Well, uh, if, you, if you need anything, just give me a shout. Uh, sorry about that. My wife just gave me a coffee. Oh, sounds good. You a fan of coffee? <laughs> Obviously. So who is not a fan of coffee? I really love coffees. I'm drinking a special homemade blend at the moment. Oh, sounds good, sir. So we we have this special blend that we make at home. And what we do is we've got caramel infused coffee beans. So it's like a caramel black coffee, but we use gone okay. off milk. So sour milk, because it gives it like a sweety, nutty sort of taste to it. And the smells horrible, but the taste is divine. You ever tried a gone off milk Gosh. coffee before? It's something to Not... try. Yeah, I would definitely try it. Okay, sir. Now let's back. Let's get back to on work. Okay, I got an uh, accounting details perfect, from perfect. the accounting accounting department. Perfect. All right. Let me click on the new payment. Sure. It's. Uh, let me spell out the first name. Okay. It's R U. -R. Account number is four two zero. And the sh uh, short code is six zero eight. Oh, I don't believe this. It's doing the same thing again. It it still shows the same thing. Yeah, exactly that. The transaction failed with suspected fraud on the receiving accounts. Okay, and can uh, below down? Can you see an option which shows continue? Uh, I can. Let me just screenshot this again. Just bear with me. Yeah, that's taking me back to the home screen again. Okay, uh, I have got one more detail. Let's try that. I got one more accounting details. There would be there. There should not be problem with escrow account. It might be a problem with your banking server. Um, banking server. Yeah, so it's an area I know nothing about. Okay, so write down the. Uh, let's make a new transaction on new account. Let's do that. I got one more good account. It might be a good account. Let's check it out over there. It's it, it is a small account. It's M. Uh, show you the account number. Yes, yeah, so what's the account number? Okay, it's five three four. Okay, and the sort code. Uh, two three. Did it go through? Uh, that's same thing again. Same thing again? Yeah, it's come back with the transaction failed with suspected fraud on the receiving accounts again. There's got to be something wrong with this. Okay. Uh, could you please take a screenshot? Okay. Answer. Uh... Uh, search, uh, dev, uh, please open up a new tab. D E S K, any desk. Just search, in, search it out, any desk on your computer. Uh, okay, okay, so this, it says Eric Cressman at the top, and it says Correct. accept. Correct, accept it. 
Eric Cressman is trying to help you out. That's why I accept it. Okay, so uh, the location, Mr. Tony Mosh, his link will be underneath here. Uh, please give him a follow. He does amazing work. Uh, he grabbed their location using Grabify and it pinged back to being in our Medabad. When I connected to their computer, it also came back to being in our Medabad. And they are in this sort of area. Okay, now open up your... Uh... Oh, what's that? Is that you on my computer? No, that's the Eric. He would be helping you out, sir. Oh, okay. Yes. Now search on your uh, TSB bank. You search it on. He would be helping you out. Okay, wonderful. Bear with me a second. So I'm thinking about a holiday. Where would you recommend that I go? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So just to share that uh, I gave him a call for an hour and 22 minutes. So then uh, on a same number, I got a call declined. I've just tried to call him off of a different number. And again, we'll call them just as I can show you guys. Number unavailable. And that's within five minutes. They have literally shut down their operation because of what we just did. Uh, high five, much love. Thank you for the continued support. You are all amazing. Have a wonderful day.